Shalom, giving all praises, honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is a brother Yerushalayim coming back at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Now this video is going to be related to the lady you see on the screen, right? story of Mary Turner all right which is one of the most horrific um, stories you're gonna hear you know about Jake and being in slavery all right crossing Babylon all right you know and this this story that we're gonna hear about you know it just reverberates and reminds and reminds us you know you know you know of of the atrocities and the abominations and the amount of wickedness that these devils did to us all right that they did to jake you know during that during that 400 uh approximately 400 um years of slavery all right you know because it's it, it, it you know when you hear the story you know you know it just it it, it boils your blood all right you know but hey without further ado let me just play let me play this video this um this guy is from this guy trying to run away slave you know um i saw, saw just discovered it pretty recently you know he's a guy he sounds like he's a the muslim muslim thing you know of course he's misguided in that respect but he seems to be um on point in certain areas so you know without further ado let's play the video all right the backdrop is that you know it's mary turner and her husband you know going to a plantation you know when after they got married all right so let's play this County, Georgia. So they, they moved to a place called Brooks County, Georgia. So they took a job on this plantation that was owned by a savage, a, a white supremacist, knuckle dragon beast savage by the name of Hampton Smith. Okay, so this, this savage, his name was Hampton Smith. He was the owner of the plantation that they went to work on, Hampton Smith. So Smith had a reputation, right? Hampton Smith had a reputation for abusing and beating his workers, okay? He had a reputation for abusing and, and beating his workers. So what Hampton Smith would do, is, which is something that quite a few of them did back then, they would go bail black people out of jail, right? So they would go bail black people out of jail and have, have them work off the bail. So basically, if you had a bail for whatever, whatever, they would come let him out, go get him out and say, okay, well now you're gonna work for me until you pay this off. So you know what the deal with this was. So first off, you know pretty much there was a system where people were, were, were working, you know what I'm saying? Working like crazy just to pay off this bill that, that was said that they owed. Then you could imagine that there, they had a system set up where the police will lock these people up and lock people up for petty little things just so that the, these owners who were probably their cousins or whatever could come get them out and work it off this whole system right here you could imagine they were all working together very similar to what's going on now all right so you hear that you know the the, the, the whole system set up was set up against you even after so-called emancipation all right where we are basically you know well of course to start with you know, the 13th Amendment basically says that Jake is two thirds of a man, all right? You know, and it allows for systematic slavery, all right? Where basically, you know, if a Jake was found loitering, or if, you know, he found, and as we're gonna, we're gonna um, listen to in this video, found um, chewing dice, rolling dice, all right? He was picked up and put in jail, all right? And then what? The same plantation owner will come and bail you out, which basically mean purchasing you. All right, pay to pay off your bill, your bill. All right, so that's the system they use, which is, which is still slavery. Let's 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 bring in um, in fact, let me let me stay on this here. Let's bring in um scripture here. Let's get our scripture here. It's the book of Joel. Joel chapter three. And um. Chapter three and verse three. Right. Let me see if I can start a little higher up here. Right, let me start at Joel 3 and 3 says, And they have cast lots for my people, 
pretty much that's what they're doing, you know. They're still they're still buying and selling. Alright, go back to the curses, right? And this is this is after so called emancipation, which the word emancipation just means a transfer of ownership. Alright? And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot. Alright, because you know these 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 Edomites, you know, they're fruity uh, as hell. Alright, you know, in slavery, what they used to do with buck breaking, right? Which pretty much is sodomizing a man, right? To break his spirit. Alright? You know, and then, then using certain torture implements like the pair of the pair, the pair of death or the pair of pain, of anguish. Alright? You know. All these all these all these love different levels of wickedness. Alright, so Joel 3 and 3 and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Alright, so that they could do their business. They set up the whole system to oppress Jake. Pretty much to keep them in slavery, you know, under the guise of emancipation. Alright, so let's continue here. Except now they lock them up. They people they make agreements with the judge. So you might have a town that makes an agreement with the judge that a certain amount of people are needed to fill a prison or a jail. And they make sure that it hits that number so that these people can go work for some of these major industries or so that they can run this privatized prison and have enough inmates to fill it out so that they can make money. You know? So it's all about these devils, you know, these devils making money. This is what it's all about. All right. These devils, you know, yeah, hey, they just was taking Jacob, should have put them in jail to refurbish the, 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 the system to make money off of Jake. See if I get a scripture here. Alright. Yeah, this is um James. This is James. And this, this is why the whole Monty system will always will always collapse. Because these devils base the whole system off of the blood, sweat, and tears of Israelites. You know, blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Alright? You know? And they get they, they got rich and they profited off of us. It says James chapter 5 and verse 3 says, Your gold and your silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, could they never give us or just you. Cry it, alright? Cry it. And the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabbath, the Lord of armies. So the Lord hear, and hear the prayer of the cry of Jake. Alright? You have lived in pleasure on the earth and been and been one done. You have nourished your heart as in the day of slaughter, right? Because they, they've been they've been slaughtering Jake, you know, this 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 story here of, of Mary Turner is a story of slaughter again. Alright? You have condemned and killed the just, right? They killed who Mary Turner under unjust circumstances. And he doth not resist you, right? Because we have no power in our hands. Okay? We have no power in our hands. Let's continue. I'm saying this still goes on to this day. You can look it up. People have gotten in trouble for some things with this. This still goes on to this day. This is how the system worked. It was working like that back then. Okay, so this savage, this savage, Hampton Smith, he bells people out, but he had a reputation for being very, very evil. Very evil. So check what happened. One day, Mary Turner, right? This is the woman, Mary Turner. She was badly beaten by this, by this, this savage, this white supremacist, demonic, Luciferian, Shayateen savage uh, uh, named Hampton Smith. She was, she was beaten badly by him. Now imagine how her husband felt um, as a man. Imagine how he felt knowing that his wife got beat by this white dude, this dude who's already treating him bad. You know what I'm saying? So basically what happened is her husband he was pissed off and he spoke out a lot against this and they, they sent him to the chain gang. He had to go to jail. Her husband, Hazel Hayes Turner, this is Mary Turner's husband. His wife was beat by the plantation owner, right? His wife, imagine that. He wonder why people, some, some people drink or they have this, 
they're genetically predisposed to drink, you know what I mean? These genetic tags they carry from these days, right? So he was beat. She was beat. He spoke out against it, and because of that, he went, he went to jail. He went to the chain game for some time. Okay. Now, this is what happens as time goes on. Since then, he's out of jail. He's back on his plantation working. His wife is working, okay? So, check what happens. Eventually, this guy was, this guy, Hampton Smith, the plantation owner, in 1918, they say on May 16, 1918, he was shot and killed by one of his workers. So one of the people that he went and bailed out of jail and tried to, you know, oppress them and take advantage of them, shot and killed him. Shot and killed him. Which was judgment of the Lord. All right. Which is judgment of the Lord. All right. Because the Lord hears, hears the cry of his people. Even though we, 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 have, we have these curses on us. And it was said that this person that shot and killed him had a $30 bill and he was locked up for rolling dice. How crazy is that, right? He was locked up for rolling dice. So, in response to that, in this county, this county, Brooks County, like these white people do when they get upset back then, they form big mobs and they just go around and just kill people. They just kill random black people because they pissed off somebody that got to pay for this. Kind of similar to what goes on now, just a little different. So they go around and they just kill black people because somebody got to pay for this, right? Yeah, that's right. <coughs> Excuse me, the city's devils. That's how they rule. You know? That's how they go. They love, they love blood. They love blood. All right? Uh, let's get... um. Ezekiel, Ezekiel the 35th chapter, and the first verse it says, the second verse it says, um, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord, your Jehovah power, or the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. All right, that's what the Lord is going to do. That's our future prophecy. All right, I will lay, I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh. All right, because thou art kept, thou hast had a perpetual hatred. All right, these devils have a serious hatred against us. All right, they have an envy of us. We are the people, and they, and a lot of them, they knew that we were the people of God. They knew that we were the Israelites. All right. Because thou hast, hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time when their iniquity had an end, right? You know, they still, you know, even though, even after the so-called slavery, they still was doing it, they still was slaughtering us. Right? Read, therefore, as I live, saith Jehovah power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou have not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee all right and that's why you know as the scriptures say we want us to a town as established with blood you know well let me get that let me get that one quickly all right this is um habakkuk habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 12 it says woe to him that build that um a town with blood you know and this is how they got they build up their, their cities and build up their america Right, Babylon the Great, right, and establishes a city by iniquity, yeah, by 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 the oppressing Jake, killing them. All right. Behold, is it not the Lord of hosts that the people should labor that that the people should labor in the very fire, and the people shall weary themselves for very vanity. All right. So you know they have Jake for laboring. Right, the vanity. Right, but now the word of the Lord is coming out. This, 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 all of their wickedness has been exposed. And the Lord said He would do it, and it's being done right now. All right, verse 14 For the earth shall be filled with knowledge and the glory of Yahweh as the waters cover the sea. So they can't stop the flood of this devil being exposed. All right, 
the Lord said he's going to be exposed and now, now he's, he, he's, he is being exposed alright all of his wickedness is coming out now we understand as the scripture talk about in 2 Thessalonians 2 right the second chapter right the mystery of iniquity right the man son of perdition being revealed in this time right things that were forgotten and were not spoken about you know, after slavery with taboo subjects they, they're coming out it's being spoken about now all right and you know that look and jake learning now that that is especially elect of the nation of israel learning that this devil is your enemy Right, he always has been. Okay? Always has been. Okay? So he established a city by blood. And this is this is why, you know, the Lord is gonna shed their blood too when this time comes. Okay? Let's continue here. So Mary Turner spoke out against it, right? Because her husband was killed. He wants why people, some, some people drink or they have this, they're genetically predisposed to drink, you know what I mean? These genetic tags that they carry from these days, right? So he was beat, she was beat. He spoke out against, out against it and because of that, he went, he went to jail. He went to the chain game for some time. Okay, now this is what happens as time goes on. Since then, he's out of jail. He's back on his plantation working. His wife is working, okay? So check what happens. Eventually, this guy was this guy Hampton Smith, the plantation owner, in 1918. They say on May 16, 1918, he was shot and killed by one of his workers. So one of the people that he went and bailed out of jail and tried to, you know, oppress them and take advantage of them, shot and killed him. Shot and killed him. And it was said that this person that shot and killed him had a $30 bail, and he was locked up for rolling dice. How crazy is that, right? He was locked up for rolling dice. So, in response to that, in this county, this county, Brooks County, like these white people do, when they get upset back then, they form big mobs and they just go around and just kill people. They just kill random black people because they pissed off somebody that got to pay for this. Kind of similar to what goes on now, just a little different. So they go around and they just kill black people because somebody got to pay for this, right? So Mary Turner spoke out against it, right? Because her husband was killed. He was, he was one of the people that was victimized and killed for this, right? So he was killed and she was, she was pretty angry. She's, mind you, she's at this time, Mary Turner is 19 years old. So, and she's eight months pregnant. She's 19 and she's eight months pregnant. So she publicly denied that her husband had anything to do with the murder of this dude, Hampton Smith. She's talking, she's opening her, her my husband didn't have anything to do with this, 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 and that. Basically, they killed her husband. He was one of the people that they got at for this happening, for this, this guy, Hampton Smith, being killed. So because she was voting, and the guy was innocent, of course, on that crime. Oh, about this, this mob, this lynch, this, this, this terrorist lynch mob who was been going around, they heard about her mouth and people got upset, they got mad. So what they decided to do is they was gonna go get her and teach her a lesson. When she heard that they were coming for her, right? She tried to get away and escape. She tried to get away as far as she could. Mind you, this woman is eight months pregnant. She tried to get away and do what she could when she heard Hey, they're coming for you next. So she didn't get very far. She was caught the next day. She was caught the next day. So this is probably one of the most disturbing things. You know what I mean? All of it is disturbing, but th this is how cold-hearted and savage these people are. You know what I'm saying? Who did this to her. This, this is what they did. So they caught her, right, by a bridge and hung her by an oak tree by her ankles. So they hung her upside down by her ankles. Look, look at, look right here. Look at her. Look at her. Does she look like a relative? Your mom, your aunt, your grandma, your sister, 
your daughter. Look at her. She got people out here walking around looking just like her. A 19-year-old girl. Look at her. Right, they say, you know, you know, um, it's just because he curses, say, so you know, they don't really care about the old or the young, right? They don't, that's roughly paraphrasing, you know, they, 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 they're not going to show over, over favor to the old or, you know, or the young, you know, I, you know, I don't want to butcher the scripture, right? It's roughly paraphrasing. They don't care, they didn't care whether she was young or she was old. She just made a statement and, you know, these, these, these devils, you know, said, hey, how dare she do that, you know? They had, to, they had to deal with her for that, for opening her mouth. So this is what they did to her. They hung her upside down by her ankles from, on a, from an oak tree, right? They hung her upside down, right? Doused her, co her clothes in gasoline and set her on fire. Look, they doused her clothes in gasoline. Just look at her. Could you imagine that? Some, do, somebody doing that to one of these 18, 19 year old girls who just out here in the world going to school, doing their thing. So they pretty much burnt our life. Right? And that just was that's not that just wasn't it. That wasn't enough. Listen. On Instagram, or whatever. Douster, this is a woman that did, all these men did this to. Douse the clothes in gasoline. Douse the clothes in gasoline, lit her on fire. As they lit her on fire, she's still alive. They went up to her with a pig. So they burned her clothes off of her while she was alive. Knife, one of those knives that you got a pig with, ripped her, ripped her stomach open, her womb open. Remember, she's eight months pregnant. The baby fell out. And it was reported that the baby was actually crying. This baby's alive. So these savages took it upon themselves to crush the baby's skull, stump on it, crush the skull and stump the baby to death. This is what they did. And, and this, and you know what, and this, and when, I, when I hear about it, And that just wasn't it, you know? After they did all that, they crushed the baby's skull, right, and crushed the baby's body. They proceeded to, to fill, her, fill Mary Tina's body with hundreds of bullets. All right, hundreds of bullets. Okay, I don't, I don't need to paint that picture for you. All right, and this is why the Lord is not going to have any pity on these devils. All right, this is Amos. Get book of Amos, chapter one, verse eleven. For thus saith Yahweh, for three transgressions of Edom. And for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity. You had to have no pity. You know, after he did that, a woman hung her upside down, put her clothes off of her with gasoline, then cut her like a pig, take the baby out of her stomach, and then crush the baby's skull. You couldn't have any pity at all. All right. Let me read that over, Amos 1 and 11. For there saith Yahweh, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. The Lord's not going to turn away the punishment on you. Yahweh Shai is coming to destroy you all, all your Edomites. Alright? Because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, because he saw his Jacob's brother. Alright? Now we can understand why the Lord, the Lord had so much hate for Esau. Alright? You know, but when we go to these scriptures, you know, because of this, this is why the Lord, you know, he didn't like Esau, okay? Right? And they cast off all pity, so they cast off all pity, as you can see in this, in, in this illustration here, this example, and there are many, 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 many more, thousands more, all right? Maybe, maybe hundreds of thousands and millions, all right? And his anger did tear perpetually. And he kept his wrath forever. Right? He kept his wrath forever. He never, never, he never let up. Alright? But I will send a fire upon Timon, which shall devour the palaces of Bosra. So that fire is going into those ICBM nuclear missiles and the chariots. Okay? You know, shy when he comes, he's not going to pity these devils. Alright? You know, they're going to be, they're going to be done away with. They're going to be like, hey, 
you know, hey, Yahweh Hashem, Yahshua is going to deal with them. Right? He's going to deal with them. Alright? Let's go back to the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 8. It says, um, verse 7, it says, Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out, and him that returneth, and I will fill his mountains with his slain. He has rulership. You know, the top echelons of Esau. Alright? Right, the elites. I'm going to fill the mountain with slain men in thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. Right, that big great sword that's coming. Alright? I will make thee perpetual desolations and thy city shall not return. That's why the cities will be city and the tongues were made, were made by blood. Right, we were established by blood. Right, and you shall know that I am your hour. Alright? So the Lord coming with a serious judgment for you. All of you, all of you wicked, wicked ass, um, Edomites, devils. All right. Let's get, let's get our scripture here. Um, Snehum, chapter three, and verse one. It says, "Go to the bloody city. It is full. It is all full of lies. Right? That's America. That's the bloody city. Right? It's based." Is based off of the oppression, the blood, sweat, and tears of Jake, right? Of of people like Mary Turner and her husband, you know, Hazel Turner, right? The home tree and one woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery, and pray depart and the pray depart. That not yeah, we depart not. We are the pray. Jake is the pray, right? The noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses. And of the jumping chariots which go back into even slavery when they were running after us when you know jake was running away was, was trying to escape all right you know the horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear and there's a multitude of slain right all these jakes and the great number of carcasses and there's none end of their corpses they stumble upon their corpses the amount of dead all right the amount of dead jakes Okay, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well favored harlot, right, which, which is Babylon the Great, America, the mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts, right, that's what they did, they split up Jake family too, all right, you know, behold, I am against thee, saith your hour of force, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, girl, gonna lift up your skirts and make you naked, right? and I will show the, na the nations thy nakedness. And the kingdoms thy shame and i will cast abominable filth upon thee and make thee vile i will set thee as a gazing stock as so everybody know they know about your evil and your wickedness all right jumping on the verse 10 it says yet was she carried away she went into captivity her young children also were dashed in pieces and on our young children were dashed in pieces like what we, we saw here all right you know you know yet was she carried away she went into captivity her young children also were dashed in pieces at the top of all the streets and they cast lots for her honorable men and all her great men were bound in chains right this perfect illustration of that all right that's that's what these devils did this is what they are about you know and this is why the lord is going to destroy them this is why you know the scriptures say we're gonna you know in the kingdom the children are going to be dashed against the stones. Alright? For what they did. Okay? This is, this is why. Verse 19. Now I'm 3 and 19. There's no healing of thy bruise. Thy wound is grievous. And all that here, the brute. Right? Of thee shall clap the hands over thee. Upon whom hath not my wickedness passed continually. Alright? So the Lord is going to deal with you for your wickedness. You can't fix your problems. Your, 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 your money gone. Right, you, you know, America is sinking. You know, and the nation's gonna rejoice, you know, at your downfall. Ain't you know, you, you, you no you know healing Babylon. Babylon is not healed. Right? For all the abominations. Right? You know, but double is gonna be done unto you. Right? Double is gonna be done unto you. For all your wickedness. This is Revelation chapter 18. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 5. It reads, um, 
for her sins have reached unto heaven yet. And Yahweh had remembered her iniquities. Lord, no, see what you all did. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her according to her works in the cup which you have filled to her, filled to her double. And that cup is passing on to all you. So you all, you all Edomites. Alright? That cup of, of that cup of 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 of, of destruction is, is, is on you. Lamentation chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom that dwellest in the land of us. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and make thyself naked. What is happening now? Right? The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sin. So this mystery of iniquity being revealed. The son of perdition. So the cup of destruction is passed known to the, these Edomites. Right, and they're going to be laid bare by the Lord. Right? And brought low. Alright? They're going to be brought low for their wickedness. Alright? This is um Psalms 137. Right? Verse 7. It reads, Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Yeah, they destroyed Jerusalem. And they're still destroying Jerusalem now, which is the body, you know, Jake's Jake's putting Jake to death. Alright? Verse 8, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. This is how we know that Babylon is speaking about Edom. It's related to Edom. In modern day Basra is America. Alright? Basra being the capital of the Edomites' original homeland of Petra, Jordan. Alright? Right? Psalm 137 and 8, O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that take it and dash it thy little ones against the stones. So we we gonna when in that time, you know, we're gonna do that and we're gonna be glad to do it too. Alright, because that's gonna be the will of the Lord for all these abominations that he did turn to us. Alright? You know? And we don't want we don't want your 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 reparations. Uh, we don't want your rapper. We don't want any money from you. We want that. We want the kingdom. We want the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. That's what we want. And we want and we're gonna get and we're gonna get that retribution on you. Right? It's Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 8. It reads, Um, for it is the day of the of Yahweh's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion recompense. The recompense is coming upon you, devils. Alright? Because in that same chapter, when you read it, you know, you talk about the Lord, the Lord's sword is going to be bathed in heaven. It's going to come down I do near to me. Those missiles, all right, the chariots, they're going to come down on you devils. You know, they're going to come down on you devils. But you are evil, all right? That's why the Lord said in Malachi 1, from verse 2 down, that you're the border of wickedness, all right? Again, it says the same thing in Romans 9 and 12, going down there, all right? Esau have I love, Jacob have I love, but Esau have I hated. So like here, yeah. all right, because y'all y'all wicked, all right. You hate instruction, you're envious, all right. You're prideful. Everything the Lord hates, all right. And you touch the apple of the Lord's eye, and that's a, that's 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 your major sin. All right, that's that's your biggest sin. Biggest problem is that, right. And how, how this situation is gonna be is gonna be um fixed. And I mean, you just go through that, you know, how the Lord is gonna fix it. The only way for the situation to be remedied and for recompense to happen is Numbers chapter 35, verse 33. It says, So you shall not pollute the land where ye are. And they these these either mice have done that. For blood it defiled the land, and this is what they did by shedding our blood in Americas and all around the world. Alright? They defile the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, alright, but by the blood of him that shed it. So when the scripture talk about the earth, you know, it's gonna be renewed, alright? You know, you know, a new 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 hour, uh, a new world, new kingdom, a new world, you know, the word is kainos, you know, the elder apostle Gaba always, always go through that. Alright? Which means refreshed, alright, for the wonder for the earth to be refreshed. The blood of these Edomites and these other heathen have to run on it. You know? Right? So it says, And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, 
or by the blood of him that shed it. And all these heathen shed our blood. But most of all, he saw Edom, the so called white man. Alright? This is why his blood has to run. And the scripture said, hey, it's going to run. It says it's going to run I know, as high as the horse's bridle. Right? In the book of Revelation. Alright? This is what you're, this is what you're shy. Our Lord is coming to do. Alright, let's go through some of the, some of the quick precepts. Um, let's get the book of Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 10 all right it's, it reads it reads um but i have made he saw bear i have uncovered his secret places he shall not be able to hide himself his seed is spoiled yeah it's spoiled most of them suffering from um um was 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 that was that genetic ailment all right one way one way they were drinking they were drinking too much of rabbit 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 oils all right rabbit fluids fluids you know that now they now have um is it is it um a genetic defect okay but they seed spoiled right because they're not even multiplying right there's see a seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not right he's not right leave thy fatherless children i will preserve them alive and let their widows trust in me so the widows the women gonna trust in jake right you know we're gonna get your woman like just like what you did to our woman you're gonna get your woman too for thus saith Yahweh, behold they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished no he ain't gonna go unpunished all right thou shall not go unpunished but thou shalt surely drink of it for i have sworn by myself saith the lord that Bosra shall become a desolation a reproach a waste a curse and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual we say because the curse is going to enter into your house the chariots all right yeah it's going to enter into your house you know what are you going to do then okay what are you going to do then let's get isaiah 47 And verse 1 it says, Come and sit down, sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there's no throne, no daughter of the Chaldeans. Right? Chaldeans been talking about the elites that you saw. But thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind meal. Yeah, but that's what we're doing. Why are we grinding that me hard? Well, hard work, so like yeah, it's, gonna, it's gonna be um on them too. Uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the river, so they're gonna you gonna be laid bare. You're gonna be uncovered, right? And we grinding up your meal too. We grinding up with these videos. We eating it up as the scripture talk about. We you all gonna be consumed by the spirit of his mouth. Second Thessalonians, the second chapter. All right. First three reads: Thy nakedness shall be uncovered; yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. So the Lord ain't gonna come as a man. The Lord coming to destroy you all as a god. All right. As a God okay let me go through one more scripture as I see chapter 63 all this is prophecy I see us chapter trick 63 and verse verse 1 it reads who is this that coming from Edom this is your how I come in right who's died who with dyed garments from Bosra right Bosra and modern day Bosra okay we saw in Psalm 139 137 slack yeah that Babylon the storm what the place of Esau Edom the strong rule of Esau all right all right isaiah 63 and 1 who is this that coming from edom with dyed garments from Bosra? this that is glorious in his apparel traveling in the greatness of his strength which is the chariots all right but the lord not going to meet you as a man coming with power i will speak i that speak in righteousness mighty to save okay and the lord coming with michael too wherefore am i red in thine apparel therefore there wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treaded the wine press. Yeah, the Lord is gonna tread that wine press, you know, which means what he's gonna kill you all. The blood gonna be running out the wine. The blood, the, 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 the um, blood of the grapes represent the blood of Esau Edom, right? And the heathen. Right? I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I for I tread them, for I will tread them in my anger, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments. And I will stain all my raiment. 
for the day of vengeance is in my heart and the year of my redeem is come all right he have the redeem the elect of israel and i looked and there was none to help and i wondered that there was none to uphold wherefore my own app brought salvation unto me so Yahweh shy alone gonna take them out all right you know when he come in no according to second i should 13 chapter and my fury it upheld me right the lord power the power of the lord is gonna it's gonna it's gonna bring salvation unto him verse 6 and i will tread down the the people in my anger and make them drunk in my fury and i will bring down their strength to the earth all the planes all the space station you know all of Esau's wickedness is coming down right for the abominations that they've done unto unto the people all right you know it's coming down all right for for the abominations that they did unto mary turner mary mary turner hazel turner and all of them but not turner all right so with that i pray this, this little lesson was edifying when i give all praises honor and glory unto yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham rakakodash double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect until next time a bad bubble destruction under babylon shalom